Choose your fighter. Lightning Inspired. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. So, last time, we defeated a few, like, big... Well, not a few. We defeated a big boss, some weirdo. Um, and... Uh, then my internet crashed out on me. So, yeah, hopefully that doesn't happen today and we can just get through all the big bads. Aaron Jaeger! I- I- Gotta <laughs> swim! Like a baka! Like a baka! Aaron Jaeger! Yeah, okay, Will showed me a video <laughs> right before this. About- It's just this weird dub. Aaron Jaeger! Bike shield? No, okay. Yeah, so, basically the guy I defeated, uh, last time, he... I don't know, his job doesn't seem like... I'm gonna be honest, his job doesn't seem that impressive. It just seems like a different version of the, uh, uh, Black Mage. So... I mean, I feel like a black mage does more damage, but well, whatever. We got a different type of mage here. I just is that's gonna you're gonna quote that all day. <laughs> Aaron Jaeger. Oh my goodness. Aaron Jaeger. I know, like you're just hearing me in the microphone, it just sounds so out of context. Also, also, we have a contract to defeat, uh, Jormungandr. Uh, so let's go see how that's going to turn out. Actually, do I still have that quest activated? Yeah. I'll find the woman's pen pal. Okay, okay, we'll do that first since we're already here. But, um, yeah. Then we're gonna defeat old, old Yorman. Do I write letters to a woman over in Remdel? Maybe I do. What's it to you? Oh, she thinks I'm mature, sophisticated, witty, and cool, you say. Ah, it sounds about right. You can see I'm pretty long in the two, so I think I qualify as mature. As for, as for sophisticated, well, I collect dusty old trinkets, so that's a definite yes. Witty's right for sure. The regulars here don't always like my repartee, but deep down they know it's solid gold. And cool, you bet I am. My feet are blooming freezing. Hey, same. I have a- I have a case of cold toes. Well, 
Okay, he must be taking a shower. I kind of want him to send it in Discord. Just so I don't keep repeating it and then... No one knows what's going on. Oh, it's that thing I tried to fight before. I'm, I'm kind of nervous. I'm wondering if this is something that you actually do at the end of the game. Oh, now it pops up. Trump cards. Is is that? That's your a giant worm. No, pay close attention. Oh wow, that only did 73 damage. You're going to regret hurting my friends. Okay, well let's see. Oh, this is a bad start, but okay, let's just Let's see what we're dealing with here. Ooh. That is a lot of health. Yeah, okay, I was not prepared for this. Maybe this is something we'll come back to later. Whoops. R.I.P. <laughs> Bravely. Komatsu? Hey, how you doing? Uh, yeah, I I wasn't really prepared. Whoops. Okay, we'll just come back to it later. But how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Yeah, this is the Mina side quest for this part of the game. I'm gonna go back to the pen pal lady. Yes, I think I I don't know how many chapters are in this game. Um but I think I'm somewhere towards the middle where everything is kind like shit's kind of hitting the fan, but it's still somewhat okay. I don't know if it's like uh like Zelda like when it really when shit hits it hits. So I don't know. I think I'm I'm still at that stage where things are relatively fine. I don't know. I get I get this feeling that the 
that the main guy is gonna like destroy the world at some point and then the cities won't look this nice anymore. I'm trying to fucking... I have to come back at night. Okay, I guess I'll just wander around till nighttime comes. Like how they animated how deep the snow is. I mean, I personally don't like snow, but I appreciate it. Okay, it's getting nighttime. Andy! Okay, okay, it's nighttime, it's nighttime, it's nighttime. Gotta book it. Okay. <gasps> okay, there we go. Got it. Hey, Andy! Okay, there she is. You don't have schoolwork today? No, Andy, I finished it. I finished it all yesterday. That's why I wasn't talking much during stream. There you are. So, what is he like? Wow, so right. He really is mature, sophisticated, witty, and cool. Oh, be, be still my beating heart. This is what love feels like, isn't it? That decides that the next letter is going to be the big one. Time to put my heart down on the page at last. Thank you so much for helping me take the plunge and wish me luck. Yeah, I got all of my math homework done yesterday. So, um, I can just kind of relax today. Dude, that math homework was rough. You also have waffles. Ooh. Right, all we did. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can't. I can't defeat Jormungandr for you. But how's your day, Andy? What you been doing? I've not really done much. I had to be... I'm always boring. You're not... Hey. We're not gonna have that negative self-talk. Um. I had to be an adult today and then do adult errands. Which is like... I don't like doing because it costs money and I'm just like, ugh. I don't want to do that. Can you be an adult for me? No, I'm barely an adult for myself. I don't want to... <laughs> now there was like, there was a nail in my tire, so I had to go um, get that replaced, but then the other tire also had issues, so I need to get both tires replaced today, and that was like, Anyhow, you came. Cost, cost to, I mean, it's not as much as I was here. expecting, but we'll still. Very well. Then we shall make our way to the palace. Well, you should post that video in Discord. You already did. Erin Jaeger. I mean, 
sometimes it's... I don't know. Sometimes it's not so bad doing adult chores, but it's just like, I, I just wish I didn't have to... Like, the price was lower, you know? But hey, it's finally... It's finally cooling off over here. So it's not like... Triple digits and you don't feel like your skin's melting. And it's starting to become fall weather. The Andy, the wind's howling. And the trees, the trees whisper. I'm also howling. Oh, guess what? Will and I were playing Baldur's Gate last night. And apparently when you have a uh, multiplayer, at least when we did, uh, it... There's a lot of, um, bugs. You have our thanks for coming all this way, Princess Gloria. It's my pleasure, Prince Pollux. Would you mind telling us what's been going on? Of course. As I ask Anihal to inform you, the Hologradas have demanded that our kingdom join their empire. I put the matter to the Council of Elders, but alas, they were divided. Things were further complicated when two of the elders passed away in quick succession. Their deaths were deemed to be suicides, but both men happened to be of the faction opposed to joining the Empire, which is rather suspicious. I'm sure you will agree. You can't put two and two together. I'm afraid that I do. Mm. Also, yeah, this game was a lot we'll darker. For I thought this was like a you, your like a children's Perhaps game. You could speak to some of the council members. They might be more prepared to open up to one such as yourself. And in Yega, I just cannot bring myself to go. What are some? I have been ordered to rid the. Underground reservoir of silk moss, but I am allergic to such creatures. Would you be so kind as to take take my place? But yeah, this game deals with a lot of. I didn't know that. Like, I didn't know like horrible deaths would be in this game. I mean, some they show it and like creepy paintings and. I still haven't played the cards game. The deaths of those two elders. They were suicides, were they not? Or are you suggesting otherwise? Well, the circumstances are pretty suspicious. Suspicious, you say? You have been talking to Prince Pollux, I assume. He certainly does not seem to believe that those poor men killed themselves. Well, they were both opposed to joining the Empire, and they both happened to die. You can see why he might believe Holograd had something to do with it. Yes. And I must confess, I am inclined to agree with him. After all, Savalon is as far from Holograd as it is possible to get. An invasion would be a difficult and long-winded affair. I can understand why they would attempt to subdue the kingdom through such machinations instead. Of course, I have not a shred of evidence to support this theory. You know what I want? Me in a very awkward position. Okay. So, Andy, like I said, I was Prince playing Baldur's Gate with Will last night, right? And I just wish, him. like, the evil villain of, which I must a um, of one Perhaps of these games, to talk again later. like... Instead of being in, like, a dark dungeon or what have you, like, a place that's just, like, dark and rocky and smoke, I just want it to be, like, greenery and cherry trees. It's just the... What they do is just evil, but they just hide it. You know, kind of like, uh... Kind of like the fucking Lannisters, like Cersei. Didn't live... I mean, she didn't live in, like, a dark dismal place she lived in a castle in the in the capital and she smelt of doo too the two elders who passed away they both killed themselves did they not why do you ask prince pollux didn't seem so sure it was suicide hmm well i do not wish to speak ill of the dead but 
I'm also evil. What's the most evil thing you've done, Andy? The affairs of the nation for his own ends. The elders in question could well have been involved in something similar. I have heard that Holograd takes a very dim view of such activities. Perhaps these men were so afraid of what might happen to them if Savalon joined the Empire, that they took matters into their own hands. Hmm. Could be, I guess. Thanks for your help. How do you feel about joining the Empire, by the way? Are you for it or against it? Oh, I am all for it. The alternative is war. The people would suffer terribly. In any case, I am late for a council meeting. I must be on my way. Good day to you. I mean, if you join the Empire, that like, I don't think that means war is inevitable. It's just people from the inside of the city are going to be fighting people from inside of the city and uh, the enemy, so. Huh, you can do that with a shell? Uh, rock tortoise shells are highly durable and make wonderful homes and brooches, but I have even more special use in mind. Can you perhaps bring me one? Ashes! Hi, Ashes! Ashes, you should check out the Discord because Will and I... It's gonna its gonna be good for the context of this stream. There's like this random fucking video where it's just like, Erin Jaeger! You should watch it. It's just like 10 seconds long. But Will keeps quoting it, so that means I have to keep quoting it. What? The dead elders. I have no interest in them. Dwelling on the past will not help us adjust to our new reality. We will soon be part of the Empire. I guess you're in favor of joining them. The Eren Yerga! <laughs> As with any transaction, you smell like it is a vodka. simple matter of weighing the costs against the benefits. The fact is that our kingdom is in chaos. Dude, okay, I was... Stand Ashes, have you seen, now, um, Death Note? Us. Besides, but I must be on my way. A council okay, meeting is starting soon. Okay, so I was describing, Please, and this is... Excuse me. I was talking about this when I was watching Attack on Titan. But you have anime protagonists like, um... Like Rimuru. You have them, like... Uh... God, what's... What's the main dude from Demon Slayer? Adam Yeager. Tanjiro? Is that his name? Tanjiro? And so you have these like anime protagonists who are like super, who are selfless and that makes them likable, right? And that makes them like easy to follow. And then you have people like fucking Aaron Yeager and Light Yagami who are scary motherfuckers who want to just have mass murder. <laughs> but then like you follow them because you know why they're doing what they're doing. It's like, that's... Aaron and Light be like, oops, die. I mean, Aaron, especially in the later seasons, is like, actually scary. I think when he turned off his emotions, he became the true villain and protagonist. And then Light just has a god complex. I mean, we knew this, we knew this. Wait, is that like a fan dub?
Will they spawn if I'm not over there? Okay, you haven't seen that meme? No, is it like... I mean, I, I can imagine the scene, like... We've got the upper hand, guys. I can imagine the scene. Is it like when Sheik? No. No, sorry. Zeke? When he first figures out about the camera in his room, he's trying to figure out how to still kill people without getting caught on camera. Oh, you're talking about light. I thought you were talking about Aaron. <laughs> like they don't have they don't have potato tips in Chikonjana. to do this stuff at night. Why? Have you banished Will to the floor? No, uh, Will is, Will is organizing some cards. He's organizing some Digimon cards. He's actually, I belong on the floor. Andy, no. <laughs> He's, uh, oh, if any of you play magic or, wait, is it just Yu-Gi-Oh? Well, if any of you are um, interested in playing or do play Yu-Gi-Oh, Will is selling his cards on uh, TCG. Oh wait, Ashes, I think you already knew about this. Cause I think Will was telling you about the $6 he made. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, Ashes, I had to be an adult today and do adult errands. I didn't like it. Well, it's just the fact that adult errands are just more or less just kind of expensive. Like, ah. Oh, Like, there was a nail in my back tire, and then my other back tire was just, like, about to go, too. So I'm just like, well, fucking gotta get them replaced. Yeah. Silk moths are all gone, friend you are. Oh, my apologies, some uh, moth dust might have clung to your clothes. Would you mind keeping your distance? Thank you. Get away from me. Yeah, and it was, I guess according, there's like a chart they have in their like building. Apparently the nail was in a place where if they took it out, they wouldn't be able to repair the actual tire. So, gotta love it. Oh my god, oh. So, I didn't even get a chance to tell you guys because, um, because the internet kind of crapped out last time and I was just like really tired. 
But oh my god, Saturday. Saturday was a very interesting day. Um, so... I, I went to work Saturday at 5 in the morning, right? So I show up across the street at 4.45 because I like to get there kind of early. Oh, where is this? Taking me. Okay, it's just right there. And this, like, this guy, um, walks across the parking lot with, like, this really big gym bag. Like, it looks pretty heavy. And he just, like, stops in front of my car and just, like, stares at me. And I'm just like, like, I don't want to get out. There's no one, there's no one around. So, I'm just like, I don't know how long he's going to take. And, like, what, I'm just going to miss work or miss clocking in a few minutes because this guy won't leave so eventually like yeah he scoots a little bit away and i'm able to get out my co-worker someone who had been there since one in the morning no god damn it Uh, she walked out to, like, put something in her car and just like, okay, here's my opportunity. There's someone, one in the morning? Yeah, so, since I work at a bakery, a morning bakery, people get there midnight to one in the morning. Um. And so, yeah, she was going out to her car. And I'm just like, okay, perfect, there's another person. So I, like, go inside. And this guy... Um, I parked kind of... Let's see, how do I explain this? So, basically where I parked and where it's lined up is like a T or a plus intersection. And there's, ton and there's a lot of parking because it's in downtown. And he had just been circling that same intersection since I guess one in the morning. And one of my other coworkers who got there um, he actually, like, approached her and, like, was trying to talk to her, and she's like, um, no. And he had just been, like, snooping around cars since that time, and so, um, I told, I told my, the owner of where I work, yeah, I told the owner of where I work, I'm just like, hey, um, keep an eye on your car and keep an eye on the company's car, because there's this random dude he was, he's just like he's like peering in and it's the same like six cars he's looking into but it's saturday right and so it's pretty busy downtown um and we thought like okay maybe he's just like weird so the uh, the owner of where i work goes out and just kind of stares at him stares him down until he leaves but he comes back but the only the only thing that like raised alarm is that my, some people, uh, who I got in there later, they went out to check their cars, and it looks like he, it looked like he had something in his hand. Like, uh, one of those diamond tip things to break car windows. And so I'm just like, oh, yeah, that's, yeah, we have to, like, call. We have to call people to check, a, like, a window puncture thingy? No, yeah. And then his huge gym bag, too. And so, um, yeah, and we don't know, like, and we don't know, like, what was in his bag. We assume that it was a bunch of, like, tools or whatnot. But the thing is, he wasn't, like, a young guy. He looked like, he looked to be, like, I don't know, his mid-40s. Mid-40s, almost 50. Um, and so... I go out to my car on my break just so he doesn't break into it while I'm because I'm sitting in there and uh cops come and they like talk to him briefly um but then like drive away I think they wanted to, to confirm that maybe it was him or maybe this is before someone actually called the cops I'm not sure but 
it might have been before they received the call. But he, like, walks over to my car again, and I'm, like, staring at him through the window. And he's, like, like, keeps looking at the cars next to me and into my car, but, like, does that because he noticed I'm, like, staring. And so, yeah, eventually they get, like, uh, he gets the cops call on him and, like, uh, like four cop cars pull up. I need. I still need to look up the story about who he is and what happened. But yeah, that was that was Saturday. So during all of this, during a Labor Day weekend rush, um, we also had cop cars blocking <laughs> the entrance to my work because it was one of my coworkers who called them. So they all had to come in and then talk to her to like get the information and then actually go. I mean, we even, it even got to the point, I'm fucking deceased, please. It, it got to the point where one of our regulars, um, he's a really chill guy. I told him what was going on. He was just like, I'll keep an eye on him for you. And it came to a point where like, he's like sitting down reading a book and then I just see him like stand up and start yelling at the guy because he's, like, getting way too close to people's cars. It was... It's very interesting. Oh, damn, what a lad. Yeah, and that, that regular is, like, in his, I think, 60s. Yeah, we... Round of applause. We gotta give it up for him. Yeah, that regular is great. That regular, we stay on a king. That regular, if, um, if we get, because where I work, it's a lot of, like, kind of younger girls. So sometimes we get in, like, creepy customers. And so that regular will, like, uh, kind of call out those people and just be like, don't do that. Don't talk to them like that. But I'm just like, yes, we love a king, please. Suicide. We have two more suicides. Bernard is dead. I am transparent, and now his Will. His co-conspirators are dead. I am a king. Do you not see? This is Lupus's If you okay, from beyond the if you had to be the king a of a of, of a country from like a uh, medieval it fantasy, me to my what core. country would you choose? What area would you choose? Norway? Norway's a real place, Andy. I'm not... <laughs> we have a king now. I can't relate. King? Well, there's not a king in the U.S. Uh-huh. We kicked ours out decades ago. Actually, he was never here. I would be king of Gondor. I mean, would you want to be king of Gondor? That place is kind of like... King of bitch. <laughs> no, that'd be me. Why? Okay. Can someone explain this to me? Why I can't move from this area to this area? I have to go all the, around the entire city. There's land there. It's not like it's flooded. Why can't I just go from that area to the next area? Why do I need to go all the way around? Trying to think of a place I'd like to rule over, and there aren't many where the monarchs survive. I want to rule over, um... No, not Castle Rock. But, uh, Game of Thrones, yes. I would want to rule over, um... Uh, where? Okay. 
Where are the Targaryens originally from? Bitch land. <laughs> my apologies for keeping you waiting. Lady Sickness asked for my assistance with an issue that has arisen. You have my undivided attention now, however. Tell me, what did you learn? Valyria! I would rule over Valyria. Lupus, you say? It was his place on the council that Bernard took. And some suspect that he was accused of a crime he did not commit, and that the ordeal led him to take his own life. And you think there might be some truth to this? One of the people we spoke to said that the two elders who died Also, Ashes, I'm- okay. I'm gonna move the webcam really quick. Can, do you see how adorable Adele is in her little, like, beast tamer outfit? Sure. Look at her little ears! The has just approved my proposal to consult with him on the matter of Holograd's request that we join the Empire. Come, we will visit him in his cell and see what he has to so say. So cute. You want to rule over a land? Well, apparently, Valyria before it was destroyed, was described as a really advanced civilization. I know they had constant wars with the city of Gies, but the Gies, G-H-I-S, <laughs> cheese, they have the city of cheese, um, <laughs> Gies, the city of Gies, um, but it was supposed to be a really advanced civilization, and there's, um, there's artists who kind of, uh, let's see, what are they called? I think they're, uh, it's a collection of uh, the world of Game of Thrones and how they made the city look. It, it's beautiful. So yeah, I want to roll over uh, Valyria um, before it's destroyed. Because after it's destroyed, that would kind of suck. Big sucky smell smell. Just like you know, um, there's uh some there's a YouTube video I watch called, or channel I watch called Alt Shift X. And they go over tons of Game of Thrones lore, or they did back when Game of Thrones was still like. Prince Pollux? Yeah. Is something the matter? Oh, cutscene. Well, Hang on. No. But did you not enter the dungeon just moments ago? Certainly not. I have just arrived. Oh, no. oh is it Caster? Come on, let's hurry. Is Prince Caster back? He fell off I'll the building. Later. Right now, Drummond's in danger. What in the Drummond? Hmm? Oh. Your Highness. Yeah, is this Prince Caster if he just grew out his hair to look like his brother? <sighs> oh. Who's the imposter? So, the time has come. What? Unexpected. The time to kill you. Oh, all. it's this bad bitch! Yes! Oh, I, I don't know if I'm ready for this. I didn't save before this. This will be a walk in the park. Prepare to die. Oh my god. I'm kind of fangirling right now. I don't have any I don't have a white mage. Guys, I don't have a white mage. What happens if I die? <laughs> See how you like this. <laughs> oh, watch 
next, I wonder. Sacred power will come into the That was nothing. She would it be wrong of me to go eat ice cream right now? Hey, we have a bunch of ice cream. Eat this. You run? You can rely on me. I have to protect my son. I grow bored of this. Time to withdraw. No, please come back. <gasps> she just vanished. Crikey. What was that? A, a ghost? Something to do with this curse? It was a bad yeah, bitch. Nothing of the sort. You have to be wary of those. Whoever she was, she dropped her necklace. It seems you arrived just in time. You have my thanks. But why come after You're me? You're a little tired? I guess somebody wants you out of the way. It seems you know more of the circumstances than I. Would you care to explain? Forgive us, Dromed. A kingdom finds itself in dire need of your wisdom. I see. Much has been afoot. Indeed. And I would hear your thoughts. How should we proceed, old friend? Well, from what you have told me, there would seem to be little doubt that Holograd has been engaging in clandestine activity within the kingdom. Perhaps I am an obstacle to their scheme in some way, hence their attempt to eliminate me. It must be something you know, something vital to their plans. Indeed. But what? The bulk of my knowledge concerns the history and governance Well, what of do you have available, if Andy? We can deduce what do you it have is they believe, more I burgers? We might be able Actually, to burgers kind of sound this. good right now. Only the council knew that I was coming here to meet with Dromed, which means an elder is responsible. But I have burgers. You should make so some burgers. Keep you from I have waffles. Me. Yeah, use the waffles as the buns. Journey. The culprit's bound to let something slip eventually. Assassin's necklace. I feel like that would be good for Adele. Okay, I'm glad we didn't actually have to fight her. That that would have been bad. <laughs> 